Hey guys, guess what I got for Christmas? A selfie stick! Woo! Woo! Oh, jeez. So, I just got back from OSU a couple weeks ago, and my room is kind of a mess. So I decided to do this vlog on my bed. I wanted to talk to you guys about something really cool that Cards Against Humanity has done for their gift thing this year, and that is they have bought a Picasso art piece. Tete de Fauna, right? And they gave us a choice. They said either donate it to the Art Institute of Chicago or laser cut it into 150,000 pieces uh, and send you your own scrap of a Picasso. And frankly, I don't know what to do. I was originally going to donate it for two reasons. One, I don't really want to destroy art, and two, the piece that I would be getting, some people are saying, is about 1.5 millimeters thick, or side the side lengths. And to put that into perspective, 1.5 millimeter thickness is about as thick as a penny or dime. So that's very, very small. Now, then I saw some arguments to cut it up, which are even more interesting. The first argument being, it is not technically an original Picasso. Like, it is Picasso, he did it, but he also made 50 others of them. We don't know how many still exist, uh, because they're bought by private collectors and other museums, and it's hard to keep track, but there are others out there. The second reason I saw to cut it up is that we're not really destroying the piece, uh, some people were saying. It's not like we're burning the art piece and it's uh, unfixable, although it would still be unfixable because it's in so many tiny pieces, but some person compared it to breaking up... No, kitty! No! Anyway, some person compared it to breaking up uh, a chocolate bar into multiple pieces. You haven't destroyed the chocolate, you're just breaking it up. Third reason was the most interesting, actually, which is Picasso was a modern artist of his time, and in a way, some people were saying that cutting up a classical art piece uh, is modern art, because someone said, and I liked the way that they said this, Modern or art is supposed to convey emotion. Sorry, this is the charger cable. Art is supposed to convey emotion, and this art piece is conveying a lot of emotion. Like, I don't know what to decide, and it's making some people angry the thought of even cutting up an art piece. Uh, it's making some people happy because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get my own piece of Picasso. So, would Picasso approve of this because it's modern art? Who knows? But some people are saying that he might. So, why am I telling you this? Well, the main reason is because I really don't know what to decide, and I want to let you guys decide. Um, based on those reasons, or any other reasons that you can think of, which you can leave in the comments below, what do you want to do? Do you want to donate it or cut it up? And the way that you'll vote is Vlogsters will leave two comments in this video, one that says donate it, one that says cut it up, and whichever one you vote for, you just like that comment. Uh, and then on December 31st, the last day to vote, uh, I will use my vote, because only the people who are in this can vote, uh, based on what our response is. And if it's tied, I just won't vote. So yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. Uh, I know that's not much, but... I haven't unpacked everything, my room's a mess, I just, I couldn't videotape in my normal corner, plus I have a bigger bed, so I don't know how I'm gonna have space for anything. I'm probably gonna have to film in a different location. Uh, I might start doing gaming videos, because my brother and I just recently built a PC for him, um, so I might start doing some gaming stuff, who knows. Uh, but I am working this next semester at home, a uh, company near home. So I should have a lot of free time, so look forward to a lot more videos and a lot better videos, I'm hoping, from me. 
and uh, happy holidays, uh, happy New Year's, I guess. I won't see you guys in three, oh, well, I will see you guys in three weeks, maybe sooner. But I'll also see you guys next year. So, happy New Year, everyone.